Welcome to the HCM Cloud Absence Management Tutorial. This presentation takes you through the navigation of the HCM Cloud Absence Management Module. We will touch upon reviewing available pay time off categories, initiating a time off request, reviewing pay time off balances, modifying an absence request, and notification and evaluation of an absence request. To begin, you must first log in to the HCM Cloud platform. To do so, navigate to the TCNJ Today webpage. Click the Oracle Cloud icon. Type the same username and password used to log on to your TCNJ email. This is known as your single sign-on. Press Sign In. Welcome to Hugo First's Cloud Account. You should see that the Me option is underscored. At this time, click the Time and Absences tile. This is the Time and Absences first screen. From this screen, you can add absences, view your absence balances by pay time off category, view the status of absences that have been submitted for approval, and see the balance of any leave donations. At this time, we are going to view Hugo's absence balance. We'll now click the absence balance tile. This is the Absence Balance screen. Here we see Hugo's administrative leave, sick, and vacation balances. At this time, we are going to request time off. To do so, click the down arrow in the Actions box. This is found at the top right of the screen. Once the drop down box appears, click Add Absence. Hugo must select the Absence category. To do so, click the arrow and the drop-down box opens. Hugo selects Sick Leave, then clicks Submit. On the Add Absence screen, Hugo enters the start and end date of the absence request. Cloud calculates the number of hours based upon the employee's regularly scheduled day. Here we see the absence balance and the duration of the leave request. Once you click the Calculate field, the screen will update with the projected balance. Hugo presses Submit to forward the request to his supervisor. An alternate path to add an absence is to click the Add Absence tile. Also, from the Time and Absences screen, Hugo is able to view the status of the sick absence request which he submitted. He does this by clicking the Existing Absences tile. This is where Hugo lands after he clicks the Existing Absences tile. See, the sick time request is awaiting approval. Hugo is able to edit the time off request he previously submitted because his supervisor has not yet approved the request. To edit the request, he clicks the pencil icon. After clicking the pencil icon to modify his time off request, Hugo will be on the Edit Absence screen. Here, he clicks the Edit Entries button. Hugo clicks the pencil icon to change the number of hours he submitted for the sick day on October 1st. After clicking the pencil icon, the Edit Absence screen opens to allow Hugo to change the number of hours associated with the absence request. He can delete the request or change the hours for the request. Hugo changed the hours from 7 to 4. Now he presses the OK field, then submits the updated sick absence request. After submitting the absence request, the existing absences screen is updated with the new request, which is awaiting approval. 
Hugo clicks the back arrow at the top left of the screen. Hugo is going to add another absence type. This time Hugo is requesting vacation hours. As Hugo did when he submitted a sick time request, he submits a vacation request beginning October 12 and ending October 16. Cloud automatically calculates that this time off request amounts to 35 hours. Also, Hugo may opt to calculate his projected vacation balance following the deduction of these vacation hours. Hugo starts with a vacation balance of 205 hours. Deducting the 35 hours of vacation time, he has a projected balance of 170 hours. Hugo submits the request. After submitting the vacation request, an error appears. Based upon this code, Hugo realizes he is requesting a vacation day on an energy holiday, in this case, Indigenous Peoples Day. He re-enters the request for vacation time beginning after the energy holiday. His request will now be to take off October 13 through October 16 as vacation days. Hugo First's time off requests have been submitted to his supervisor, Joseph Test. Hugo First Supervisor Joseph Tess logs into his cloud account. Notifications may be viewed by clicking the bell icon at the top right of the screen. Joseph clicks the bell icon. When Joseph clicked the bell icon, the notifications box opened. The supervisor can approve the absence request within the notifications box or the supervisor can instead opt to open the request in order to review more details. When Joseph clicks on the request notification, an approval box opened. Here he can approve or reject the request. Joseph approves one of Hugo's sick time requests. What happens after Joseph Tess decides on Hugo First's absence requests? Following the approval of his time off request, Hugo will have a notification in cloud. Hugo clicks the bell icon and the notification box opens. Hugo sees the status of his absence requests. He has the option to close the notification box or he can click on the explanations and view the status of each request. Hugo decides to view the details of his absence request approval. Hugo can also click on the time and absences tile to see the status of his absence requests. Hugo now selects the existing absences tile to learn the status of his absence requests. The status of Hugo First's absence requests are here. One request must still be reviewed by Joseph Test, one request was denied, and another was approved. We have now come to the close of the HCM Cloud Absence Management tutorial. Today we reviewed where to locate available paid time off categories, we reviewed how to locate paid time off balances, initiated absence requests, modified an absence request, and reviewed notifications and evaluations of absence requests. We look forward to you becoming familiar with the HCM Cloud. If questions arise, please don't hesitate to contact us at hr at tcnj.edu. Thank you.